finished budget, we are building our 4,000 square foot home. Just want to give you another preview of what we've got going on here currently. We had our structural steel painted last week here Hello. behind us. Yep. On today's episode, we're going to be bringing in 83 loads of fill. We're going to be digging our footings and pouring the concrete for our footings. So we've got a lot going on today. So grab that bowl of popcorn, buckle up, do whatever you got, grab a partner. <laughs> but enjoy the show today and we'll see you at the end. Thanks, guys. showing Billy where my house is going to be. I was kind of guesstimating and didn't have actual lines drawn out from the garage. We wanted to make our shop, or we wanted to make the house parallel to the garage. And I did not take the time to draw those out. I was just kind of guesstimating and I guesstimated wrong but the pad was not put out far enough. So now, uh, for compaction purposes, what we're doing is, what they're doing, is pulling out the dirt, the fill that was on the side, and they're bringing it to where it was compacted. And now they're gonna have to back fill that in and compact it, compact it layer by layer so that our compaction is the same all the way across our entire pad of our house. I was saying yesterday that we are a half a day ahead of schedule and uh, so this is probably the half a day so now we're not ahead of schedule anymore we're right on schedule and I thought man that feels really good to be on schedule because uh, I don't think uh, a lot of things from this build uh, are gonna go as I have them planned or as I want them to go so it feels good for just a little while to be on schedule. And then we get to deal with stuff like this. Semis and trucks getting stuck in the sand. So we've got E&D here again. They are actually digging the footings. About 37 inches down. They're just really wide uh, footings that they're putting in here. They've got this right in here, just kind of marking it out. Billy is. Uh, I'm just kind of showing them what you're doing and everything. And Dennis and the rig here. Go bug and take a look at their first. Hello, everyone. A little later in the day. Um, and seeing how far the guys have gotten. See, they got here. So it's 37 inches deep, 42 across that they're digging here. So it's come really far today. I'm really excited to see um, how this all goes. Once we get the concrete, it sounds like Friday will be poured. So it'll be really cool to uh, start seeing it uh, come together. Ian's been doing installs all day. I just came home to grab the dock from the garage. Got the kids and everything. Beautiful day. Decided to get out of some work clothes. And I come home to Ian shop backing out the camper. Smells really terrible in here. So what's going on? What happened? Well, when you try to fill your black water tank and you walk away and do something else. <gasps> That's and then what happened. Everything comes up through the toilet and all over the floor. Things we, can be I washed called away. the carpet cleaning place to clean the little bit of carpet that we have. They're on their way to do an emergency sanitizing because I don't think sleeping in poo poo water is mm. a good thing. 
so we have a emergency cleaner came. So he's cleaning up the floors. So under here, we've got our pump. And that hooks up to the car battery and grinds up all the turds and the toilet paper and pumps it out to where we want it, to an undisclosed location. First time I've had a camper and we're learning what not to do. Don't walk away when you have a garden hose running in your crap tank. All right, so after all of our um, camper incident with the sewer water has been taken care of, most of it got some dinner done um hey with the kids and ian is actually working with his friend aaron the puddings are done and what they're doing is they're just digging out and getting everything ready for the pour later this week so what we get tomorrow aaron will be here yeah working on finishing up the forms for the puddings and uh on thursday today's tuesday so on thursday we get to uh, pour the pudding so I'm really excited to so, see what yes. this is going to look like with the footings done. Yeah. Then we're off to the plumber and the electrician and ah. guys putting their stuff in the floor so uh, we can pour our slab. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I want to give a special thank you to Billy from END Excavating for babysitting Dennis and keeping him from wandering off into traffic. You guys just did a phenomenal job digging those footings for Aaron. And speaking of Aaron, Aaron, thank you so much. You just do, you're a wizard with concrete and we can't thank you enough. You get, you're gonna to get to see Aaron a lot more. He's gonna be pouring our slab. He's gonna be pouring our concrete patios and uh, making our concrete countertops for us. So tune in to see more of Aaron. And thank you so much to Tiller Carpet Clean for coming out and picking up our poo-poo water mess in our camper. And um, be sure to tune in next week as well, where we will be doing our ICF installation, insulated concrete forms. Yes, and be sure to tune in every single Wednesday. We'll have a new episode out for Sunfish Budget. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hey, ladies. Hey, Clark Norris. He's white and fluffy.
Mr. Candy Corn Polish over here. He's strutting his stuff our way. Hey, buddy. Oh, and then we got Spartacus back there. He's our other male here. Strutting his stuff. 